Hello everyone, this is Robin, this is Sudoku Guy, come again for another tutorial, this is number 9, but before I uh, start the puzzle, I just wanted to say two things, first of all, a big thank you to all my fans who come back continuously to look at all the different, different videos, secondly, um, I've put in a frequently asked question section underneath the uh, introduction video, if you'd like to look at that sometime. Today's puzzle is a puzzle that when some people look at it, they say, oh, that looks difficult. And some people say, oh, that looks easy. So much depends on how many techniques you know. And today, I'm going to show you some tricks and, and ideas on how to solve using a combination of techniques. So the first thing I look at when I look at a puzzle is this. What is there that stands out? When I looked at this puzzle, this block stood out to me straight away because there's only three empty cells in it and we have a two out here, which means that you can't be there. It has to be here. So we put the two in and immediately look for the ram or ramifications. Two, two. This is a two and a two using a middle, bottom, top. And I look down as well, this could be a 2, and this could be a 2 because uh, there's a 2 down in here. So bang, right away. Now this block has only got 2 left, 2 cells left, and we know from our experience that 2 cells in a block means it's a matching pair. Now you can put in the, the, the matching pair numbers straight away, or you can keep them in your head. Now let's work them out, One, two, three. it's a 4 and a 5, keep them in your head. And this makes it, if doing this little technique, by the way, really makes it go faster and keeps it neat. So it's a four and a five. So we look down and look across to see if there's a four and a five. And there's down in here, there's a four here. So that means that this has to be a five. And this five means that that has to be a four. And bang, we've got, oh, wacko, we've got a whole block solved already. Now let's look at the ramifications of the four and the five. If I go down this way, we have a 4 and a 4. There has to be a 4 here, and it has to be a 4 there. Uh, yes, we can put them in two cells, but if it's more than two cells, leave it. Uh, let's go across with the 4. This 4, looking at this block, cross meet technique, go across that way, and take this 4, go up that way. That means those can't be used. Take this four down in here and go up. Those cannot be used, but these two can. So we can put a four there and a four there. Um, super. Now, let's look at something else that really hits me, and I look for these a lot when I'm doing puzzles. In this middle block, there is what I would call a railway or railroad crossing. And whenever I see that, that gives me a, some clues as to what we can look for. Any number outside. For example, here's a 2. That 2 means that you cannot have a 2 here and here. So the 2 will have to go in these two spots. That was a pun. Now, when I look at that block, I say, okay, there's four empty cells. It's a 1 and a 2 and a 3 and a 6. Well, immediately I can see for the threes, there's a three in the top, a three in the middle, it has to be in the bottom, so the three goes there. Now, we can't have a six in here and here, so it has to be there. Let's look at ramifications for the three. Anything? Three, three, no. What about the six? Yes, there is. So there's a middle, a top, and there has to be a bottom, and it cannot be there because of that six, so this becomes your six. Now we look back at this same block here in the middle and there's only one number that's missing and it's a 1 and that becomes a matching pair and I check it out to see if there's anything that will happen. No, nothing, so we leave it like that. Knowing that no other numbers can go in there. Now this is interesting. When I look at that row, I can see a cell empty here and a cell empty here. Two empty cells equals a matching pair. Now, instead of rushing ahead and putting 7878, eight, which is what the numbers are, if I remember rightly, uh, we look here at this cell and we look up, it's a 7, because there's an 8 above. Therefore, this becomes an 8. Now, let's look at the ramifications of those two numbers we put in. 7, 7, 
This has to be a 7 here and a 7 there because there's a 7 up there. Uh, let's go across this way for the 7. Um, there's nothing here crossing system. No, too many cells there. So we'll go to this block. We'll go uh, 7 across, cut out those two. 7 up, cut out these two. 7 up, good drink, so cut out those two. The only place the 7 can go is there. And that fits 7, 7, 7. There's a 7 there. So there's different ways of solving that one. Uh, let's look at the 8. Now, we, that 8 means that this 8, this 8, this becomes an 8. If that's an 8, 8, 8, we have an 8 in here. There or there. But there's an 8 there, so this becomes an 8. Let's look at other things about the 8. Here's an 8, let's go this way now. Uh, we've gone that way, we've gone this way, now we'll go this way with 8, 8. It could be an 8 in here, or it could be an 8 there. Really interesting. Watch it, gee whiz. I've just noticed this. There's a column over here with only two empty cells. What have we got? A matching pair. Instead of writing in the numbers straight away, put them in our head. What, what are they? One, two, three, four, and a five. Look, keep it in your head, look along the rows here and up and around and see if there's a four. Yeah, there's a four, so that means that this has to be the five and that has to be the four. Any ramifications of that? Yes, when I put that five in, we go left, right, has to be one of these two because we have a five here. Great. What about the six? Are there any ramifications? Well, the sixes are all done that way. Well, that's good. Now, what about this eight? We were continuing, we did the eight in there, didn't we? Okay, so we're left with a one, two here. A one, two matching pair. I don't see anything to make it work. Okay, well, that was interesting. I wonder if we've covered all the ramifications. No, we, uh, we uh, haven't done the five properly yet. Here's the five, bottom, middle, top. It has to be up in here. Now, before, I forgot to mention that a five could go there and a five could go there. So here we have a uh, five, five. This has to be the five. And this, therefore, because we had only two eights that could go in here, that has to be an eight. And the five, five, that fits. What about the eight? Eight, eight. Well, the eight has to be down in here. Uh, again, having the two numbers just only makes a big difference. You can get two numbers if you get one. This 8 means you can't have an 8 there, so the 8 has to go here. And because we had known those two places for the 4 only, that becomes a 4. Let's look and see if there's a ramification here. 8, 8, 8, they're all there. Eight, eight, they're all there. 4, 4, there's a 4 here. wonder if that has a ramification. Let's have a look. 4, 4, it could be a 4 in here. And a four there. I should rub that out just a minute. Let me get neater. Oh, that was terrible. Four, two, four, and a five there possibilities. Okay. Well, boy. Now, because we've got this five here, that five no longer exists. Well, we've got a whole column here with only one number missing. And it is a one. So we'll put the one in. Now look at the ramifications. Center, left. Has to be one of these two in this block. And it cannot be this one because we've got a one over there using the cross system, cross here, uh, cross down in here. So this becomes uh, one there, it has to be there. What's the ramifications of that? One there and a one there, okay? Because we had to go top, bottom had to be in the middle. Oh, great. Now, when I put that eight in, I forgot to, make, to show you this, that we had two twos in here. That means that this has to become a two. Now that we have a 2 there, there's only one left in here, it has to be a 9. What about ramifications of that? Uh, let me see, going this way, no, too much, no, not what about the 2, yeah, 2's done, 9, 9, this one has to be a 9, and in interestingly enough, it becomes a matching pair, because we have a 7, 9 in here, and this is what we call a, a matching pair plus 1, and I'll talk more about that on our next tutorial. Wow, oh, here's a block. Here's a column, rather, that's only got one left. Uh, it's a one, two, three, four, five, it's a six. 
what's the ramification of that? Well, we do have a uh, possibility of a 1 6 in here. Look at that. Matching pair plus 1 again. Same sort of situation for next tutorial. Well, now when I look at this, there's all kinds of things I could see we could do, and you may see that too. I may have missed something. That's possible. What I suggest now that if you are a, a person who hasn't done a lot of Sudoku and you're maybe getting stuck, you're not sure where to go next, there's always the tried and true method of going the horizontal blocks across this way. But what I'm going to do is combine different techniques as we go. Let's take the one and we'll go up to nine if we can. Here's a one. Uh, here's a one down in here. That doesn't help us. That means a one, one, one can go in all those spots. Too many, too many spots, leave it. There's no ones here it can go with. Okay, twos, twos are already done. Threes, uh, there's no three down in here right now we can cross the three with, but um, we'll try this three. Three up in here, uh, three across there means one, two, three cells, mm, too much. Fours, fours are already done. And here, we've done down in here too. Fives. We've already done the fives along here. There's five, five there. What about in here? Five, five, oh, one, two, three. Too many cells leaving. Sixes. Well, isn't that interesting? Fancy missing that. We, we didn't see that to begin with, and that can happen. This is one advantage of going through a sequence of events, like doing uh, cross, cross the, uh, the uh, horizontal blocks. Sevens. Well, when I put that 7 in, I forgot to put that 7 in and that 7 in. So that means that, let me see, does that have any ramifications? No. 8s. Uh, 8s eights. Eights are done. 9s. Well, look at this. I've just amazing. We could have seen this right from, from the beginning. The 9 goes there. Can you see why? Yes, there's a 9 here and there's a 9 there, so I can't go there and there. Folks, I'm going to leave it there because the rest of the puzzle is really easy. And what I would suggest, if you, if you like, is to copy the puzzle down, either just the blue and do the whole puzzle, because you'll probably go a different direction, a different path, or you can uh, put all the red uh, numbers in as well and finish it off. So that's it. I hope you've learned a few tricks. Bye for now.